Right guys, hope you're having a great day so far. So in this video you're going to see some contest footage from the MPA South East held on the 28th of August. So just to reiterate, this was an extremely difficult experience for me um, throughout the prep. A lot of stress, a lot of financial difficulties, so I was having to work extra jobs. Um, you know, fairly labour intensive work. Um, I pushed myself more than I've ever done before. I dieted harder than I've ever done before. I've did more cardio than I ever did before. Um, subsequently, I got leaner than I had ever got before, which was my goal. And that comes at a cost, uh, for sure, as a natural bodybuilder. You can't have everything at the same time. I'd also had some injuries that were uh, very frustrating during the prep and before. My hip, which affected quad dominant exercises, my uh, elbow, which affected pull and bicep movements. So it just wasn't ideal. Um, that being said, I'm extremely proud of what I was able to achieve, bringing the leanest physique that I've ever accomplished to the stage. I just wasn't that happy with how I looked despite the achievement, um, but I did what I could do. I, I controlled it to the best of my ability. I, I couldn't have done any more. I gave everything that I had everything especially in these last few weeks i couldn't have done any more um, with you know the switch to employment night shifts 12 hour night shifts four on four off in an extremely labor intensive job trying to balance contest prep with that and trying to hold my conditioning if not you know get even leaner whilst doing that completely new experience um and obviously still trying to do everything that bodybuilding entails you know your tan the, the cardio and the posing. So it really was very, very difficult. Um, and pretty much for the last three weeks, it was work, sleep, train, and repeat. And you know, very, very little of that was actually sleep, probably averaged two to four hours um, most days going into that. And the last shift going into the day of the contest, I had no sleep. Um, I finished a shift with a rather thick layer of water under my skin. I looked completely different from what I had done the day before. It was almost like my body just shut down. I had a very bloated midsection, had a lot of acid reflux all throughout the night, headache, it was just terrible. And then to cap it off, I was drinking caffeine and using vitamin C to try and eliminate some of that water. Got stuck in a traffic jam on M25, battling sleep. And when I say battling sleep, I mean, if I close my eyes for five seconds, I'm falling asleep at the wheel. And I was pissing in a Costa cup, Costa coffee cup, dumping it out of the, the door because I was just urinating so much. I needed a wee so much, couldn't hold it in, in a traffic jam three or four times, spilling piss everywhere. Um, you know, my tan had completely rubbed off due to the work, so I had to use my client's Airbnb to go and have a shower before getting another top up like the whole thing was just a complete mess and it took absolutely everything everything that I could possibly give um, so fan you know fantastic result irrespective of how I looked I just couldn't have done any more so for that I'm extremely proud and I know I can do anything anything that I put my mind to because of this experience and that's extremely empowering uh, so the side effects throughout the prep were horrendous. Um, they were worse than ever before because I pushed harder than ever before. As I said, I did more cardio, sometimes up to over two hours a day. Calories were sometimes down to a thousand a day. It was extreme, um, but the conditioning that I was able to achieve in the days leading up to the show uh, was was you know extreme in my opinion, by far the leanest that I'd ever been. Um, the leg fatigue was crippling. Brain fogginess was uh, horrendous, the, the dry mouth, the inability to talk properly or think straight. It would most of the time be better off to crawl as opposed to walk. That's how lethargic that I felt. Um, you know, walking between machines to do the exercises in the gym were, were hard enough. You know, doing the shift work that I was doing was almost incapacitating, and the pizza work before that, that was hard enough. Um, but got through it and I did look better the day before and the day after but I did everything that I possibly could you know those those elements that changed my physique on that day I think were really out of my control um, and it's 
it required everything of me just to get on stage, to be honest. My legs were extremely heavy during the posing. I couldn't contract them properly. I felt like I was going to pass out for, for most of the day. It was um, a very hard experience that required a, a different level of commitment to, to what I've you know, experienced before. It was, it was hard to say the least. Um, and I'm doing this voiceover now on the Tuesday the 9th of September after a difficult, difficult week for other reasons, which I'll go into in another video. Um, but now moving forwards to the finals, hopefully, um, you know, be able to bring a competitive physique to the British final stage and go that one step further. The benefit of, of doing the finals will be that it will be on the fourth day off on my shift pattern, so I'll have four days of rest leading up to that. So that in itself puts me in a good mental position, just got to get over these next two three weeks which will be very difficult um, and i'll go into more of that um, on the next video so thanks for all your support guys appreciate your continued support whilst i've been doing this uh, vlog series it's really really helpful you know without the comments without the likes there's no point in me doing it i, I don't you know i don't get any feedback uh, whether you actually enjoy it or you learn anything from the video so always remember that try and be as uh, you know whether it's something negative that's fine but try and be as interactive as possible um, with the video. So much appreciated. Enjoy the video and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Thank you. You have. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we've got three very good middleweights here. As you can see, cheer them on best you can. Come on. Let's go, guys. Here we go, guys. Four to ten to the right. Let's go, mate. Go. Yes, 
Cross. Come on, squeeze. Yes, mate. You've got Ross. That's the one, Ross. Yeah. Massive. Yes. Nice. Nice. Nice, guys. You've got to laugh at that one, though. Yeah. Just adopt the front stance, please. Returning to the stage after a few years away from his novice days. Number 25, Ross Newham. Brilliant 